Hi Scorpio, my creepy crawlies. It is almost your season. I've already pre, wow, pre-shuffled and meditated on your cards. This is a collective reading for personal reading. You can book at the link in the episode description below. Hello, happy almost October. It is almost your month. Okay, Scorpio. Oh, and here you are at the center. Right before I started shuffling, I was thinking, I was like, I wonder if the death card's going to come out for them. That is your card, Scorpio. Right at the center. Beautiful. Okay, so there is a transformation underway here. What are you working on? We got a couple of masculine energies out, a couple of major arcanas out. If this is your first time listening to a tarot reading, what you're going to do is you're going to want to listen for the key. Whoa, your cards are flying. Okay. You're going to want to listen for keywords and messages that resonate with you. Don't force anything. Let the cards play out over the next few weeks if you need to. Wow. Take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. The roles can be reversed. So if I'm talking, oh my God, if I'm talking about you to you, but it's the person you're involved with or a situation you're involved with, switch the roles. And just remember there is no gender in tarot, only energy. One more for Scorpio, please. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Ooh, Ten of Cups at the bottom. Beautiful. All right, let's see what's going on, Scorpio. We are opening with the Five of Wands. There's this training energy. There's a change underway that you either have been preparing for, training for. This could be like learning, taking coursework. There could be some competitive energy around this. So if you're competing with others or if there's some kind of internal competition that you have, that could be coming out, playing a role here, but this change is underway. You are in this training mode. Then we have King of Cups. Cups, uh, King of Cups energy is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So this could be you, could be someone in your energy, put the pieces where they go. King of Cups energy, someone in control of their emotions, period. Cool, calm, collected. The emotions, the water, right? Crazy, turbulent underneath. Straight as an arrow up top. He's actually looking out, looking for his queen. Like, who can I give my cup to? The king of cups is a giver. So this emotional stability in your energy is beautiful. And look at this. This king of cups is looking here. This king of cups is looking at the king of wands. King of wands is looking at the king of cups. Very interesting. So the king of wands energy, this is fire sign energy aries leo sagittarius sun moon rising mercury venus doesn't have to be though this is a masculine energy that is business oriented ceo energy business leader energy entrepreneurial vibes someone who is sexy goes after what they want takes does not take no for an answer they go 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 they make shit happen for themselves um and he's looking at you and you're looking at him. So this could be, you know, again, there's no gender. It's just masculine energy. So whatever you're presenting as, if you are presenting more masculine this month, then this is you. If you are in, you could be in a same sex relationship. You could be dealing or working with, right? Training with another masculine energy who is in their entrepreneurial business uh, decision-making energy and it's it's passion the king of wands is passionate very fire centric very like moved by the energy from within whereas you here are coming up as like steady cool calm and collected very interesting now we have the magician this is the manifester the magic maker this is you major arcana uh, using all of the elements in your possession, cups, emotions, pentacles, earth energy, money, finance, stability, career, wands, that passionate fire energy, swords, your intellect, using all of those things, all of those suits in collaboration with your connection to the divine, your connection to the universe, source energy, spirit, your higher self, your soul, God, whatever you call it, whatever you believe in, there is a balanced connection to your earth energy and you are higher self energy and that's what makes 
you able to make magic. You're able to manifest and create the life that you want in front of you in the 3D world. So it's not just about having that inner peace in your mind, but using the power of your connection to spirit with the resources around you to replicate that on the outside. And here at the center anchor point of your card is you, death. And with death comes rebirth, right? So there's a major, and this is major arcana, major transformation energy here. You are uh, in some kind of recovery mode. Recuperate four swords, recu recuperate, meditate, rejuvenate, um, recovery, rest. Take some time out for mindful activities, meditation, breath work, walks in nature, um, washing the dishes, like things that are going for a long drive. Let your energy settle and get back to four is like baseline stability. Get back to that baseline. We do have two aces in reverse at the bottom. So there is a blockage going on, which is interesting. You have two king energies, one, two, three major arcanas, and two aces. So there's a blockage in passion, this ace of wands. This is very phallic looking, right? This is a gift from the universe, gift from the divine. Uh, a new beginning that's passionate, and it has potential for growth. The growth has already started. There's a block, though. I always associate the Ace of Wands energy with um, our sacral chakra, our creation chakra, our sex chakra, um, as well as your third eye chakra. So there's a blockage here of some kind, whether it's you or this other energy blocking it. Let's see, though. Then we have the second connection to divinity card. This actually has come up when I think all the water signs today. So again, you have this connection to divinity, to higher self, to the universe, to source energy. For These are the only two cards that have that on it and both came out of all 78 cards. You are able to tame the beast. You have a connection to spirit, to higher self, to your soul, to come towards living things here on earth in such a manner of gentility and assuredness and peacefulness that you can put your hands in a lion's mouth and look at this tail his tail is between his legs under his belly that's a sign that they're like uh that you're alpha to them they're like being tamed by you you have strength of fortitude you have fortitude you have strength of will strength of spirit to get through um this major transformation again there's a blockage though this ace of pentacles there's a blockage of this material earth energy, this new opportunity in finance, career, expansion, growth. Um, there's a there's blockages. It's so interesting because major arcana, major arcana, major arcana. And these are considered, you know, these are major arcanas are like universe cards, soul contract, divine intervention. It's the universe at play, right? And the aces are the universe at play, divine intervention of the suits but they're blocked. So let's go a little bit deeper and see what's going on here. Ten of Cups at the bottom. That's a beautiful omen. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Whoa. Please help me pull cards for insight for Scorpio, for my Scorpio souls out here. We have the lovers in reverse. What else is going on? This five of wands, this training energy, this com competition energy. We have the lovers in reverse, four of pentacles in reverse, and the moon. The moon is Cancerian energy. It could also be Scorpio Pisces energy. It's that intuitive knowing. So we have the lovers in reverse. Usually that's an end to a partnership or union, right? Four of pentacles in reverse. Four of pentacles is holding on very tightly to something. There's stability here, but it's holding on very tight. In reverse is usually letting go. That's how, that's how I read it. It's like you're letting something go which would make sense with this lovers in reverse. Maybe there's a competitive situation either in business partnerships, creative endeavors, or in love. And you're like, you know what? This competition, I'm, I'm letting it go. I'm not down. It's a clown. Um, and the moon energy is that deep intuitive dive into the subconscious to reveal things that we have not yet shed light on. You know, we talk about shadow and people 
oftentimes are like, oh, shadow is bad. It's the dark side of us. And it's like, it's only dark because you haven't shed light on it. It doesn't mean bad. It just means not illuminated. So there's something that you are either illuminating or will become illuminated from a deep dive within. Because something is unknown here. Something is something's not seen or not fully transparent and illuminated. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Wow, at the bottom. We got Ten of Cups up here at the bottom. Ten of Pentacles uh, down here. And, and the Tens are completions of cycles. Ten of, ten of Cups is, you know, emotional wish fulfillment. Ten of Pentacles is family wish fulfillment in the material world. Why is King of Cups here, Spirit? Why is King of Cups here? Oh my God, your cards are wild, Scorpio. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Ancestors, Archangel Michael. Please help me in point. Thank you. The Devil. So there's some kind of temptation here. King of Cups. How funny is this? Clarify the King of Cups with the King of Cups. So this is you. This is your masculine energy. Unless you're involved with someone that has masculine water energy. Could be. We have the Devil. That temptation, restriction, addiction blockage but this devil card is like he's so sexually magnetic i'm not saying you know i'm not saying i want to with this card but like that's the energy that's coming off right it's like come on like come here let's come on just take my hand and go let's go and you are being cool calm and collected because you have clarity this ace of swords clarity ace of swords is underneath this ten of cups look Boom. Ace of Swords. Clarity from the divine. A mental download. So you know what's you know what the fuck is up, is what this is. You are in control of your emotions because you know what's up. You know what's going on here. You it might not be illuminated, but you know. Six of Pentacles in reverse at the bottom, lack of reciprocity in something. Okay. Ooh. Why is King Okay, I'll take them. I didn't mean to do that. King of Wands, this fire energy, right? Ten of Swords, a painful ending that took a lot of thought. Seven of Swords, there's deception. Deception has entered the chat. This could be lying, stealing, lying by omission, um, infidelity, strategizing. If this is a business deal, this could be like the ending to a covert strategic situation. And temperance, this is Archangel Michael. This is bringing balance in, into the duality, sun and moon. Um, making things equal again, tempering emotions, tempering the situation by really channeling our, our inner light here. But this is a major arcana, divine intervention. What is going on, Scorpio? Why is the magician here for Scorpio? What is the situation? Seven of Cups in reverse. So a decision was made. Decision was made. Using intuition. Wow. After being left out in the cold. I'm not, I'm not keeping those. Okay, something's changing here. You are manifesting quickly. You had to make you had to or you are making a game time decision using your third eye, using your intuition. This is uh, in, intuitive knowing, the high priestess going within, the mystic, she's the observer, she's the seer of all things, right? She allows for a lot of stillness and quiet time so that she is so, so tuned in to the energies around her. But there is this feeling of being left out in the cold or like locked out of something, prevented from something. Another five, five of wands, five of pentacles, fives are changes, obstacles, um, difficult situations. Yeah. Nine of wands at the bottom of the deck, the wounded warrior energy. She's seen so much shit. She's collected all these wands are from battles and she's collected them and created this little barrier between her and us, right? This little gate. It's just enough of a boundary, just enough of a wall to give her a second if she needs to run. Why is death here for Scorpio? Thank you, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Ancestors, Archangel Michael. Why is death here for Scorpio? Five of Wands again, dude. Knight of Swords, leaving something very quickly. In and out energy, very quick. Quick, quick, quick. 
Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Queen of Pentacles is got that money, stability, job, car, not a worry, knows how to receive, lets herself receive, is grounded. It's sometimes it's like earth energy. So if you, if you have earth in your chart, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, um, that might be a nod towards you. And five of wands in reverse is an end to the competition. So whatever was going on up here, this competitive situation, this could be like infidelity, multiple lovers, um, something, you know, the seven of swords out here. I don't like it. So there's some, some kind of like shysty secretness, but no, but you're, you are not one to be slept on. Like, you know, you, you know, here, you know, here, you know, here, and it's over. Whatever this is over page of pentacles in reverse at the bottom of the deck that's a new opportunity a new beginning in reverse is like nope not doing it not taking it no thank you i'm good four of swords why four, four of swords here recovering from yeah a decision you had to make yep a judgment call you had to make the divine is here whoa okay who is this king of wands energy scorpio who i cover his face who is this king of wands energy aries sagittarius leo because you had to make a, you are recovering from making a big time decision around this, a judgment call. Judgment is number 20. That's two tens and the tens are ends of cycles, right? Judgment is like, you are not just closing out a cycle. You are leveling up into another cycle and closing that too. But yeah, you're recovering from this decision. Justice in reverse. There's an imbalance. There was an imbalance. There is an imbalance. Put the pieces where they go. Ace of Wands. Why is Ace of Wands here for Scorpio? Too many spirit. Why is Ace of Wands here for Scorpio? You, really, your cards are crazy. It's like, every time I flip, it's like five, six cards. Thank you. Ooh. Page of Pentacles now. Okay, that's, I got it. That's you saying no to whatever that was. Mmm. This block, this like blockage in this offer from the universe, Page of Pentacles is a new beginning. Seven of Wands is being protected. Um, in the traditional deck, it's usually like kind of like standing your ground. So this is like you standing firm in the decision you make, but it's in reverse. So there is weariness you've reflected and there is weariness in how stable this offer is queen of wands in reverse beautiful energy this is the king of wands counterpart also magnetic people are drawn to you this light is beaming out of every orifice and follicle of your body because you follow your passions you follow your desires in reverse though is feeling insecure there's an insecurity around this this situation so this could be you did not feel secure about a, an offer made, so you said no about a situation came, coming in, and you said no. Or this could be, and that could be business, that could be love, that could be friendship, that could be a conversation, it could be, you know, a play date, I don't know. Or this insecurity is outweighing... The feeling of this insecurity is outweighing the potential good. Scorpio, only, only you know what's going on here. Six of cups at the bottom of the deck. That's soulmate energy. Sweet nostalgic love. Why is strength here for Scorpio? Why is strength here? The sun in reverse. Four of wands. That's relationship energy. The sun is the best card in the deck, right? Wish fulfillment. Having everything illuminated. Wow, Six of Cups again. And Knight of Pentacles at the bottom, slow. So this strength of spirit. There's some kind of relationship dynamic going on here. There's also some kind of like inner child energy. If you are in a relationship that you are noticing is playing out wounds from your patterns, cyclical behavior from your 
childhood. Just know that you have the strength to remedy and heal that. If that doesn't resonate, this is this could be your because of your will, your your free will and your strong willed energy towards um, balancing your earth 3D human body with your divine energy within. There is happiness in a certain kind of partnership here that's going to bring out your inner child. There has to be a play. There has to be an element of play. They're playing here. They're dancing. She's got a tambourine. The sun in reverse. The sun in the traditional deck has a, a child on it. And, and that represents like our in the innocence of a child, the joy of a child, right? And the six of cups here is also that innocent childhood joy, the love that you get from, the unconditional love that you get from children and animals, right? Your strength is, is what will get to you that if you do not have that. It will guide you there. Whether you have to ask for it and set boundaries for it or if you have to leave a situation to seek that. Very interesting. Why is Ace of Pentacles here, Spirit? Eight of Cups. Yep, you're walking away from something. Or you're, you're gonna. Or you did. Mm. I'm not gonna take it because it's too many, but Six of Swords also showed its face, which is also another leaving. The Ace of Cups, look. Not Ace, sorry. Eight. The Eight of Cups. She tossed in all eight cups, and you can only see the remnants of, like, the, the path of them going down. You see this cup and this cup. The others have sank. And she's walking her ass away. I don't want it. Keep it. That's yours. Not my energy. Six of Swords is the same thing. It's leaving troubled waters, wildly turbulent waters, to calmer waters. There's too many cards though for that. Whoa. Nine of Wands again. That wounded warrior energy. You've seen some shit. You've been through some shit. And you're like, nope, not doing it. Not doing it. One more for Ace of Pentacles for Scorpio. Third eye energy is coming out. Wow, four of cups. Something's coming in that, okay. Look, Ace of Pentacles, something comes in from the universe. It's blocked, right? You're walking away from something. You're in this wounded warrior energy. You're persevering. And when you least expect it, something's gonna drop down from the universe brighter than you could have imagined trust persevere it's happening ten of cups at the bottom it's it's happening you just have to, to allow it in allow yourself to receive set boundaries where you need to walk away where you need to yeah queen of swords in reverse set those boundaries don't be afraid to say no to people don't be afraid to ask for what you need we're we're truly conditioned not to do that um but we have to. There's no other way. Can we get... Ooh. Actually, I'll leave that. I mean, it came out for a reason, right? Five of Cups. There's something you're going to have to mourn. Look. There's something you're going to have to grieve if you're not already grieving. Those three cups. But don't worry. You are not left with nothing. You still have two cups. Sorry. You still have two cups. And two cups is love interrupt. Can I get one or two more cards for Scorpio? Clarifiers. Overall energy for Scorpio. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Ancestors, Archangel Michael. Please help me in pulling two more cards for Scorpio, my Scorpio collective. Overall energy for Scorpio. Jeez Louise. <laughs> it's too many, but death, that's you. You're all up in this bitch. Whoa, okay, Jesus. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Five of Swords. This is um, winning at all costs. There's a defeat here. Just like that Five of Wands, there's like put an end to that competition. Five of Swords, there's an end. There's a change here too. Five, five, five. Look up angel number five, five, five. Google it. There's a message in there for you. Ace of Pentacles again. Something is coming in though. Something is coming in for you, Scorpio. Let's pull an oracle. What do they need to know? What does the collective Scorpio energy need to know moving forward? Thank you, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Ancestors, Archangel Michael. What does Scorpio need to know moving forward? The energy is gaining momentum. Waxing moon. The waxing moons are, are 
after the new moon they're they're grow it's growing bigger the light illumination from the moon is growing bigger before we get to the full moon so you are in a groove here something is already in motion step out of your comfort zone that's that's the uh the judgment cards step out of your comfort zone north node your north node is your purpose in life that calling that higher calling the judgment and you have that up in here there is something and look at this purple purple is associated with your crown chakra get that meditation in. get that stillness in. there's going to be some clarity high priestess is out here too somewhere right you are a water sign you are very highly in tune especially now october to november is your time everything that's supposed to happen is it's starting you are in control of your destiny get your self you know correct with with the resting the recuperating the meditating and clarity is going to come through confidence is your key to success new moon in, in leo amazing so once you do these things you will be able to manifest new moons are all about manifesting manifesting whatever it is that you want to succeed in whether this is a business partnership a collaborative creative effort a love type romantic situation ship whatever it is this fire energy this lion energy which came out for you here the strength right you are connected to the divine keep going and once you keep going you're going to build that confidence in decision making and making moves for yourself away from others away from what no longer serves you and you're going to create whatever it is that you need to create whether it's in relationships career finance home Scorpio, if that resonated, please give this a like, a share, a subscribe, share with a friend if you think it resonates. Take what worked what worked for you, leave the rest for somebody else who needs it. If you would like a personal reading, the link is in the episode description below. I hope you have a great October 1st weekend, Scorpio. It's coming. Your time is coming.